Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and with iOS 17.5 coming out to the public in just a few days now, probably will be this Monday or Tuesday. So we have just a few days left until this software updates will be released to the public. There are of course a lot of concerns when it comes to updating as usually to a new software update. Now, one that I see over and over every time Apple releases a new update is that the battery health will drop if you update to that iOS version. So basically going here under battery, you have battery health, you will have the maximum capacity right here. And a lot of users actually do experience this issue where they have like, let's say I have here 100%, I update my device and then I will have 98 or a 97%. That happens, actually it does happen. It is true that it happens, but I will talk about that. I will explain how that happens in a second here. So as I said, I was 17.5 is coming out really, really soon. We have just like three or four days left now, and it's a great update. Overall, it's a great update. It has some really nice features. Most of them will be on the news apps, we will have a new offline mode with a lot of download options and the option to optimize your storage for offline mode under the puzzles here on the news section. And now it's also integrated with Game Center. Also, you will get an improvement on the podcast widget. We have some improvements on the books app as well. We have a new counter there for the daily goals and so on and so on. We have like a few different new features that Apple has added to iOS 17.5. And probably the most important one, in my opinion, the ability to notify you when you're being tracked by a third party like accessory it doesn't have to be one from apple like an airpod or an air tag even though it might be from another company and not actually authorized by apple it will still notify you that something is following you so that's great and also taking a look at the performance and the battery life of ios 17.5 it's actually quite a good update you can see the battery life right here the last few days here we have with about 40 percent 45 percent battery here five hours 34 minutes it was a bit worse here with actually like 65 percent battery we have five hours 20 minutes and then the last day here we have with 20 percent battery two hours 27 minutes and you can see right here with 55 percent battery almost six hours on screen time also the performance is quite good apple has fixed a few different problems like the one with the alarms not going off the airdrop is much faster and overall you will get a great experience using ios 17.5 on your device of course it's late on the iOS 17 update, so you would expect it to be a very polished update and of course, fix a lot of issues that have been known by users on iOS 17.5. So now that you know all this stuff regarding iOS 17.5, let's get to the point, the battery life and the battery health. So we have two separate things here. Most people will actually say that they have terrible battery life once they update to iOS 17.5. And that's the case because when updating, and this has actually been confirmed by Apple, when you update to a new software release, your device will have to have the update installed for three to four days, maybe five days, for the update and the background processes to finish so that you can get the optimal battery life on your device. So just keep in mind that when you have a new update, your iPhone will be working in the background. There are things that need to be done in the background. That's why it will consume on the first few days a bit more battery. So don't worry about it. Don't just panic or anything like that. Once you update to iOS 17.5, and maybe the battery of your iPhone, the battery life is not that good. But what if you update to iOS 17.5 and you see that it has actually dropped here on the maximum capacity under the battery health, like maybe one or two, three, or maybe even four points right here on the percentage. Well, that's a problem, but it's actually not a problem. It happens and it will happen to a lot of users. Now, what that is, is that your iPhone Anytime you update to a new software release, especially if you haven't updated your iPhone for a long time, it will recheck all the components of the device. That being, of course, the battery as well. 
that time when you update your device, it checks the battery and of course the capacity of the battery and then it will show you the real battery health of your device. Because sometimes this might not update. Even though it's saying 100%, maybe it's not updating and once I update the device, install the new software release, it will actually update and then it will show me the real battery health that I have on my device. Well, you can also do that manually. You can check the battery health, the real battery health of your device simply by using the support app from Apple. That's very easy to do. All you have to do is head on to the App Store, just search for support. You can download the support app from Apple. And once you have done that, pretty simple. Just go ahead and launch the app and you will be able to actually go ahead and check the battery health of your device just like this so here's the app this is what it looks like so you will have your devices right here at the top i can go to my device here and you can see we can check a lot of different problems with this device we can go to more there and we will find here battery health so let's just find the battery health here so there we have battery life so what you can do here is check the battery status of your device you can do it from this app it's very easy as you can see with a couple of clicks, it will show you the true battery health of your iPhone. And as you can see right here, mine is still at 100%. Now, of course, when you see this and you see the cycle count right here, you will probably wonder, how is that possible? Well, it is possible you cannot actually do anything to keep your iPhone at 100% battery health, even though a few tips and tricks that I showed on previous videos will help you maintain a better battery health on your iPhone. But of course, you cannot stop this. The reason this is still at 100% is that the battery came with more capacity than designed. Every battery will be different on capacity, even though Apple says... let. Let's say it says it has 4,000 milliamp hours. It may maybe come with 4,500. That's why it shows 100% until it drops under that 4,000 that of course is official by Apple. So what's next? When to expect iOS 17.5? Well, you can expect it in a few days here on the 13th or 14th. These will be the days when Apple releases iOS 17.5 to the public. I'm really sure it will be the Monday, May 13th, the day that we get this software update. It might even happen on Tuesday, but one of these days will be the release of iOS 17.5. And it will be a great update, of course. A few new features, a few improvements. The battery life is okay and the performance is really good. And this is most likely the last big update to iOS 17.17 17 actually before we move on to the first beta of iOS 18, which is exactly a month away from now. And that should actually be very, very exciting because, because iOS 18 is set to be the biggest update to iOS since iOS 7. So that should be really, really exciting. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. And of course, subscribe for more iOS 17.5 videos. And I will see you on the next one.